our GMA cover story, we have more of our exclusive with Jesse Smollett. I sat down with the Empire Star for his first interview since that night in Chicago. He opened up about what he's learned and the bigger message he wants the world to hear. What do you feel people need to hear the most from this story? I think that what people need to hear is just the truth. It's just the truth, because everybody has their own idea. Some are healing and some are hurtful. But I just want young people, young members of the LGBTQ community, young black children to know how strong that they are, to know the power that they hold in their little pinky. It's been two weeks since that night left actor Jesse Smollett bruised but not broken, and he's still processing the raw emotions. Have you ever been threatened before? Yeah. I get threatened all the time on Twitter and Instagram and DMs and things like that. It's like, but, you know, I'm a public figure. I'm very outspoken. <laughs> Sometimes maybe too outspoken, but it's who I am, you know? So I get the idea of pissing people off, that you're gonna rub people the wrong way. In fact, the week before the attack, police confirm a letter was sent to the Fox studio in Chicago with threatening language and laced with powdery substance, likely Tylenol. Do you think there's a link between the letter and the attack? Um, and you did mention it to the police right away absolutely, about the letter. Absolutely. Um, just because on the letter, it had a stick figure hanging from a tree with a gun pointing towards it, with the words that said, small at Jussie, you will die black there was no address, but the return address said in big red, you know, like caps, MAGA. Did I make that up too? And despite lack of video surveillance footage, Smollett hopes to rewrite the narrative about that night, saying he fought back against his attackers and reported the incident after his creative director called 911. He's supposed to be well known requesting a report and said the noose was placed over the friend's neck. I want that video found so badly because for probably four reasons. Number one, I want them to find the people that did it. Number two, I want them to stop being able to say alleged attack. Number three, I want them to see that I fought back. And I want a little gay boy who might watch this to see that I fought back. And it does not take anything away from people that are not able to do that. But I fought back, they ran off, I didn't. What do you say to a young gay man, a young gay person? to learn to fight. And I don't just mean like learn to fight. I mean, learn to fight. Learn to be a fighter. I am not advocating violence at all. So let's be clear about that. If you're gonna die, fight until you do. Because if you don't fight, you have no chance. I have fought for love. I'm an advocate. I respect too much the people who I am now one of those people who have been attacked in any way. You do such a disservice when you lie about things like this. If the attackers are never found, how will you be able to heal? Um, I don't know. Let's just hope that they are. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's, let's not go there yet. Let's, um, <laughs> I was talking to a friend and I said, I just want them to find them. And she said, sweetie, they're not gonna find them. And that just made me so angry because so I'm just gonna be left here with this? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just gonna be left here with, with like, so they get to go free and go about their life and possibly attack someone else? And I'm here to left with, the, left with the aftermath of this pool? That's not cool to me. That's not okay. So I understand how difficult it will be to find them, but we gotta. I still want to believe with everything that has happened that there's something called justice. He was very clear about the reasons why he sat down. It's been two weeks since 
that night in Chicago. And he, we, we talked for about an hour, and there's so much more of the interview that's going to be on Nightline. You saw the whole thing? Just about all of it, yeah. We, it's the whole, whole half hour of Nightline. Powerful. It really is. Very powerful. Yeah. All right, great job, Robin. Mm -hmm.